Have you ever stolen something, and what happened afterwards? When I was 10 my group of friends came up with a money making scheme. One of them had heard that the Mercedes insignia on the hood of cars was worth a lot of money. I'm not sure who we thought would buy them so we came up with a plan to steal as many as we could. So began our crime wave. In the dark of night. Well about 8pm we couldn't stay out late. We went around breaking off the insignia from every Mercedes we could find. In the end we had about 20. But we knew they were too hot to sell straight away so like we'd seen in the cartoons we decided to bury them in an abandoned field behind our street. But before we could collect our fortunes, developers moved in a week later and started building houses on top of where our treasure was buried. I like to think that in a thousand years time there's going to be a very puzzled archaeologist. Whoa, I have almost the exact same story, but I got caught. I was 14 at the time. The judge made me work in a garage to repay my debt. After I was done the owner offered me a job. I worked there for 7 years and I now know how to fix cars. I made more money there than I would have ever made selling the emblems I stole. I learned that crime does pay. When I was about 6, my family was at a market. Mum and dad went off for food and other adult goods. And me and my brother visited the toys stall. There was a cap gun which looked really cool and intended to buy it with my brother, who bought another thing and I assumed he paid for me, seeing as he had the money and everything. We walked away and about 5 minutes later my brother pointed out that we didn't pay for it and I should return it. Of course in my mind I thought I was going to jail so threw it in some bushes and felt sick out of fear. Later on I saw the guy at the stall walk toward me and I actually pee myself. He walked right by me, so he didn't notice I stole the gun, but I was close to crying while I stood there like an idiot pee my pants. TL. DR stole a gun and pee myself. Adult goods. Not me, but my sister stole one of those hit clip mini music player things when I was 5, she would have been 6 or 7. I remember her telling me to come into her room, then she brings out the hit clip. All she said was I stole this, I remembered being in awe. Now, we don't talk, since she's a huge bee. My buddy once stole gas, and by stole I mean he forgot to pay the lady at the window. He literally went 20 miles down the road before realizing this, so he turned around, drove 20 miles back and paid her, before starting his journey again. I did the same thing with a full tank, got a call from my parents saying the cops were at my house. I told them I was 4 hours away and it was an accident, asked when I'd be home and told me they would give me a call. They didn't. I think my parents must have just paid them. When I was about 6-7, I stole a pretty bead from a market stall. I felt insanely guilty and told my mum and she came with me to take it back and apologize. I remember feeling really crappy about it for a long time, and I haven't stolen anything since. When I was little I took some coffee beans from the how it's made display at Starbucks, my mom found out and made me go to confession and take them back. The dude behind the counter was like uh, you can have them, really. When I get drunk, I usually feel like stealing, I don't know why, I can't explain it. Every now and then, I'll wake up with a hangover, 4 pint glasses, a couple of light bulbs, and an ashtray, all from wherever I spent the last night partying. In high school, while we were still minors, some friends and I had a bit of a sharp lifting craze. One day we decided to hit up a target that we frequented because they carried prepaid WoW cards. As we are making our normal rounds, we can tell the store employees are suspicious. I'm sure some of them had seen us around before, and a group of 16 year olds is bad news anyway. Well we end up leaving with nothing because we had a feeling something was going to happen. As we leave, we see a couple police cars pulling in and parking in the lot. But we were clear so we didn't worry about it. About 3 months, and a friend of mine is sitting in the local courthouse for a mit charge. The person before him was called to the stand and is accused of stealing a flat screen TV from a target. As my friend sits and listens to the case, he realizes he was arrested the very same day we were sharp lifting there. As he continues to listen, he hears that the thief was caught because police officers were walking into the store at the same time that he was leaving. The alarm went off, and on any other day, he may have been clear, 
but instead he was questioned by the police officers. So my friends may be jumping to conclusions, but we are almost positive that the cops were called to the store to apprehend us and found the TV thief instead. We are responsible for his jail time, which he was convicted of. TLDR. Sharp lifting at target. We get away, but cops called to apprehend us find man stealing a TV instead. I stole over $500 from an office I worked in when I was in butthole teenager. I'm pretty sure the manager knew, but didn't say anything because she felt sorry for me. I spent it on food, a bus pass, and cigarettes. Can't top my friend. He stole an old women's purse since he didn't have money for alcohol. In high school, myself and a friend skipped class and went to the local Kmart. My friend took a CD and I took a steering wheel cover for my car for what reason I have no idea. We get approached in the parking lot by a security guard. He tells us to come back inside, but as he starts to put his arms around us, I dropped the item and took off running. My friend did the same in a different direction. The guard went after me, I was in good shape then, better than the guard, and was able to outrun him. He kept chasing me forever through this neighborhood until we were both so winded. It eventually turned into an exhausted walking chase with him yelling at me from about 100 yards behind. I finally got my breath and lost him for good. I never sharp lifted again. That made me laugh thank you. Picturing you both running your hearts out priceless. For a whole 10 seconds I stole a butterfly clip from a market. Then I felt really guilty and put it back. I was 6. I lived on the edge. Sharp lifting was quite a common teenage practice where I grew up. Makeup. Usually for me. Nothing happened. Never got caught. I once stole a stocking stuffer from Zellers for my brother. It was a little plaque that said of all the things I ever lost, I miss my mind the most. It was awesome. Girlfriend and I went to Target on the premise of just picking up a few things so we didn't grab a cart. We end up with our arms full of stuff and walk around the store trying to balance it all. IDKY we never got a cart. Anyway so the nail polish I had balanced on a 12 pack of soda kept threatening to fall off so she put it in my shirt pocket. By the time we get to the checkout, we've both completely forgotten about it and it isn't really noticeable. To me or to anyone else. I find it later when we get to the car. Too awkward to go back and pay for it. TL. DR. Accidentally stole $7 nail polish on a $60 target trip. This is probably the best way to steal stuff. If you get caught you can always pull the oh I forgot card. I got drunk with a bunch of buddies that liked to skateboard. We hopped into a pickup truck, sober guy drove, and drove over to the local credit union. It was around midnight. We picked up one of those gigantic stone benches that they have out front of businesses and loaded it into his truck. We went back to their apartment and set the bench up so they could do skateboard tricks off it. As for the aftermath, I got high as frick and played Chrono Trigger in the living room while those guys did their little hoopsie daisies or whatever the frick they're called. I was expecting the bench to get thrown through the door of the credit union. Glad you didn't rob the bank. When I was 14 I got caught stealing a pack of condoms and cake icing. And then when my parents had to pick me up, oh the questions. So many questions. I've stolen two bottles of alcohol from Walmart. Two different times. The first was Raspberry Smirnoff and the second bottle was something that tasted okay with Dr. Pepper. I was younger and alcohol was alcohol. Anyways, I got drunk off of both of them. One day, my friends and I are wanting to get drunk. But they aren't down with the whole stealing thing so we decide to pull a hey mister. We ask the first people we see and they decline straight away. We do a lap around Walmart and decide we should leave. But just as we walk past the alcohol aisle, my friend, who's a goofy white kid, says, Hey those guys would probably buy us alcohol so I double back and it's a couple of fine black gentlemen. So I go up to these guys. I was the only one with the balls to do so and it wasn't even my idea. And we got to chatting about what alcohol was good, etc. Definitely overstaying our welcome in the liquor aisle and looking nothing like of aged people. I finally pop the question can you buy us some alcohol one of the gentlemen looks at me and goes you ain't with no cops right we decline. Of course. Because we just wanna get drunk so they agree. I put some money on one of the shelves and he asks what we want. I, 
having an affinity for Raspberry Smirnoff since it had good memories behind it. Request that. He looks back at me with one of my friends standing behind me. The other took off to another aisle because he was scared and says you guys got any bee? This fruity crap should only be drank with bee. Otherwise you man up and go straight vodka. Sadly we didn't have any bee planned for the evening. We just wanted to get drunk so I reluctantly agree to the straight vodka so I didn't become the bee in this situation. We agree to meet outside so we go straight to the car and wait for these dudes to come out. Finally, they come out and start walking away. At first we thought we got cheated but just as he was about to leave the parking lot, one of the guys sets down a bag and keeps walking. We pull up next to the bag. I get out, pick up the bag, throw it in the trunk and we try to take off. Immediately, there were flashing red and blue lights everywhere and this ghetto truck dang near rams us to get us to stop. Apparently, it was the security of Walmart in the truck and they saw everything and called the cops. The cops stop the other two gentlemen and we all get rounded up, but they kept those guys pretty far away from us. They probably think we set them up. We didn't. Just three dumb boys, trying to get some drinks. TL. DR stick to stealing Walmart liquor. Hey misters don't go well for anybody. Sadly we didn't have any B planned for the evening. This was the funniest thing I've read all day. My story. When I was around the age of 14 15. I moved to Puerto Rico for a few years to live with my mother and sister. Due to our financial situation, I always wore hand-me-downs and not the best clothing. Couple that with the inability to speak Spanish 100%, I was made fun of pretty often. One day, I decided that I wanted new shoes. I was wearing a tattered pair I had gotten from a close by Marshalls. I went in with what I thought was the best plan ever. Go in, switch my old pair with a new pair of the same kind. Leave them in the box and walk out. Foolproof I thought. Genius I thought. Nope. I completed the swap. Made my way to the door and walked out. I made it. I was home free and had a new pair of shoes that I could show off. Wrong. The minute I walked out the door. Someone placed a hand on my shoulder and said in a deep voice. Those don't belong to you do they I was caught. They walked me back into the security room. And on the desk was my crappy pair of shoes as evidence. They grilled me, asked me why I did it and the such and attempted to call my house. Luckily for me, my mother wasn't home. They left a message and due to my age, had to let me go. I ended up running home knowing that my mother wasn't home yet and I proceeded to delete every single message on the answering machine. I'm telling you, Ed McMahon could have called saying we won a million bucks. That crap got deleted. I was more afraid of the pending ass hoping that would have come down. I stole a key ring from Walmart in order to hold my keys together. It was the first thing I've ever stolen. Still no repercussions other than my loss of sanity due to fear of repercussions. This is my top rated comment. Thanks for approving of petty theft, everyone. When I was in high school a couple buddies and I had to run from a party getting busted out in the country. This led us to walking down a set of tracks into town. Along the journey we came across a warehouse. We knew what it was. The company supplied the area gas stations with merch and food. On a whim, I decided it was impossible the side loading door, which looked like it was never used, could be open. So I tried. What do you know? It opened about an inch. I found a piece of wood nearby and pried it open to where I could get it. As I get in I'm in utter shock. Rows and rows of everything you can imagine. Our first haul we got about 10 cartons of cigarettes and a case of Twizzlers. Then we went home and got backpacks. We ended up getting cases of chocolate milk. Probably 50 cartons of cigarettes. All the candy and snacks we could haul. Ended up going back to additional times over the next week and never went back. Thought it was way too risky to be greedy. They ended up completely remodeling the building and covering the doors. Never read about the theft in the paper so I'm guessing they must have thought it was an employee. I stole a water balloon. Not a filled one or a pack. A single empty water balloon. My dad got onto me and said we had to destroy the evidence so we grabbed my water balloon slingshot and shot it in the parking lot. Your dad is a bro. I worked at a dry cleaners in the hood. Drug dealers would come in and get about $100 worth of dry cleaning done every week. Sometimes more. They would always leave wads of $20 and $10 in their pockets and we would put it in a bag and give it to them when they came back. 
They wouldn't even say thank you or anything. They would act like it was no big deal. The most I ever found was $1,200. One day as I was searching in one of these known drug dealers cargo shorts, I came across $900 in 20s. Now me as a struggling college student working my butt off just to get by, decided to take the cash this time. I'm not justifying stealing. I made a mistake and I've never stolen since. I pocketed the cash and pretty much freaked out the next few weeks wondering if I would get caught fired. Or worst, stealing from a drug dealer is not the smartest thing I have ever done. I used the money and paid for textbooks for that semester. The dealer came back in and never said anything. I kept my job, didn't get killed, and got free textbooks. All at the expense of a few weeks of my sanity. TL. DR. I stole money from a drug dealer and bought textbooks for college. They probably just didn't understand money laundering. About $20,000 worth of merchandise from Home Depot when I worked there back in 2001. Someone else got caught and snitched on me unfortunately. At one point I even stole a 200 pound portable generator. They don't like to bring the law into in-house issues so fortunately they didn't prosecute and merely fired me. A friend and I met while working together at Circuit City. We stole a bunch of crap together and got caught together then got fired together. Still friends. No more stealing together though. Just the other day I was in a nearby department store buying a belt and tie for a wedding. I selected my choices from the bargain bin upstairs and proceeded to the lower level to check out near my car while my wife stepped outside to occupy our child. The cashier rang up my items without giving me the discount that led me to the purchase. When I asked about my extra $3.50 she said she was unaware of the upstairs sales and I'd have to go back upstairs anyway. I pointed to the door. I need to tell my wife. As I walked from the register, the next thing I knew, I was standing outside the door with the items in my hand. I looked at my wife, looked down at the belt and tie and said let's go, without ever looking back. Terrifying to say the least. I told my wife moments later and she almost made me turn around. I just entered the freeway quickly and never looked back. Never look back. Wait a second. You're not a thief. Freaking Loch Ness Monster right here. I used to shoplift pretty heavily in my early 20s. No expendable money with a desire to wear new clothes led to it. I used to just wear bagging clothing or a heavy jacket, always in winter, and just put on a new pair of jeans or two underneath my baggy dress pants and a couple or even three or more shirts underneath my shirt and layers of coats. When it was all said and done, you couldn't tell a thing and I would just walk out the front door, leaving the tags somewhere hard to find in the dressing room. Had to go to stores that didn't have dressing room attendants, though, which wasn't too hard to find in my town. Never felt too guilty about it. Still don't. Really. But I don't do it anymore. Fun story about the last time I did it. I had just left my local target with a pair of pants and two shirts. Was driving out of the parking lot and a cop car followed me out. It was late evening. Maybe around 7pm or so. Getting dark. But not dark yet. He follows me pretty close and I'm kind of freaking out. I don't know what I've done and I just start assuming someone has seen me and has called the cops and I'm about to get busted. Anyway, the light timer turns green and as soon as I cross the intersection he flips his lights on. I pull over, trying to calm down, wearing two pairs of pants and three shirts. Maybe I'm stretching out new clothes? Maybe I'm wearing them to get my scent on them to give to a girlfriend frick? I dunno. What excuse is there for wearing two pairs of pants and three shirts? He saunters up to the window and I force out a hello trying not to sound like I'm about to throw up which I totally was. He asks if I know why I've been pulled over and I lie and say no, though I totally assume I'm going to jail at this point. He gets my info and goes back to his car and when he comes back he laughs. I had just bought that car a week ago. It was still very new to me. He realized this when running my information and told me I had only had my parking lights on, not my full headlights. Just wanted me to be aware and since it was a new car, it wasn't a problem. He laughed and I forced out a laugh while trying to not seem relieved as frick. He told me to have a good night and left. I sat in my car and tid up for a minute or two as I de-stressed. After that, it seemed like too much of a risk and I never tried it again, though every once in a while I'll swipe a candy bar from a gas station, still. Yes, numerous times. 
In college my friends and I stole a construction barricade complete with lights and hauled in up 4 stories just to be able to leave it outside of our buddy's bedroom door. We were highly intoxicated and there were no repercussions. I can just picture some international jewel thieves or heist professionals rolling around laughing in their stately homes at some of the ridiculous things Reddit has stolen. I stole a bookmark from a book in a really old bookstore this summer when I went to Paris, so there's that. I work at a grocery store and I regularly get food from the deli and just walk right to the break room and eat it, throw the container away, and go about the rest of my shift. There's CC cameras around the store but they don't have anyone watching them unless they're specifically looking for something. Typically a customer has to request management to look through the tapes. I've been doing it for years, nothing ever happens. I don't really feel bad about it mainly because I see how much food the deli throws out daily and what I take is a drop in the ocean. Of course I'm not helping the problem, but who cares. I'm not much into stealing but one of my best friends is a kleptomaniac. He used to steal candy and not eat it but that is beside the point. When Madden 10 came out we were all excited to play it but being lowly college students we had no money. So he decided to put his skills to the test and his idea was entirely more genius than we all had thought to begin with. He went into a local Walmart and went straight to the children's toys and picked up a $4 puzzle. He then went to the video games and grabbed Madden, in the plastic case still, and put it in the puzzle to smuggle it out. He went to the counter and when the teller scanned the barcode for the puzzle she also deactivated the security device on the game inside and he walked out with the game and no one knew any better. The hardest part of the entire deal was trying to get the game out of the plastic security box. TL. DR. My friend bought a puzzle with Madden 10 inside. Well now I know how to buy MW4. I stole some donuts once. I was on a night out with my cousin and his friends once. Me being around 19 at the time and him and his friends being 5 years my senior so they were about 23 stroke 24. After several hours in town drinking large amounts of beers that I couldn't handle and rendering myself a little bit slightly wasted we decided to head home. On the way back through town we noticed that there was a temporary European market that had been closed for the night. My cousin's friend quickly gets the hilarious idea of boys, let's go under the stalls and mess with the stuff so we climb under the canopy of a few stalls, mostly trying on ridiculous clothes and throwing bouncy balls at each other. After this I decided I'd had enough and still feeling particularly under the influence I started walking up the road when I hear whoa 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 wait we've hit the jackpot boys I turn around to see my cousin and his friend chuckling and beckoning me back towards one of the market stalls. As soon as I clambered under I was quickly greeted with what they had been describing. It was a freaking gold mine of ice buns, donuts, Danish pastries, pretty much every sweet food item you could possibly be craving when drunk. We all immediately start shoving as many donuts as we can up our tops whilst stuffing our faces at the same time. But we were in for a real treat soon enough pun intended. We soon hear oh I. The little suckers are under here and I look down to see the glowing pink face of an angry policeman squeezed under the canopy. Seeing this, like freaking Harry Houdini I escape the tent lickety split and start booking it up the road. In my drunken mind I was Usain Bolt already miles away from the police. In reality I was speedily stumbling up the road, donuts spilling from under my shirt. Mate there's no point in running we've already got your friends I hear them shout. I turn round to see my cousin and his friend being detained and made to empty every last sugary treat from under their clothes and the police are not happy. I'm marched back and we're all made to pile our bounty into a pile on the pavement. I crap you not this pile was easily 3 feet high. We could not stop laughing. The police are yelling in our faces to stop laughing, demanding our details and threatening us with prison time saying what we had done was burglary and we were 100% going to do time. While all of this is happening, one of the men running the market arrives and after realizing we are all pretty drunk, begins saying that he doesn't want to press charges and a payment of £30 each would suffice. We paid up, were given warnings and were told to go home. Still my favorite story to tell. Think I still have the warning slip. TL. DR. I got really drunk. Stole some donuts from a European market. Got apprehended by the police. Got yelled at and threatened with prison time. Paid a fine. Went home laughing. Didn't get a criminal record. Got very drunk in the middle of Bangkok. Went on a night out. 
visited a lovely laddie boy establishment and I was having a great time. Saw a bottle of Johnny Walker Red Label whiskey on the bar and thought it would be a good idea to have it. Walked out the club, pulled the bottle out of my trousers and was swiftly dragged back into the club. The police were called and I was arrested, and walked to the police station in handcuffs. They then asked me why I had the bottle of whiskey down my trousers. I stood up, still in handcuffs, and showed them how hard it is to dance with whiskey in your hands. I was told that I was either getting deported, put in prison for a year, or that I would have to pay a fine of 5000 baht. I paid the bribe, I mean fine, and was let got back into the streets of Bangkok. $160 bribe, not bad to avoid jail time. I recently just stole stole something for the first time since grade school when I didn't return the pencil the teacher let me borrow. A cup, from the pizza place pie in STL. I wanted it, I had to have it, now I drink everything out of it and feel guilty every day about it my husband laughs because I express my guilt every time I look at it. Pie is the crap, you're a monster. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe, I publish new videos every day, until then, check another video. Bye for now.